Hello everyone, I'm Emma and welcome back to the Tarman Challenge! Before we get started, thank you so much for all of your comments on the last video. I actually for the most part record these the day after the video goes live, so um, if you want to make sure your feedback is seen before the video goes out, make sure your notifications are on. But all that to say, basically, uh, I think the general consensus is that we should probably just make use of the elevators that are there. You're right, it's gonna be hard enough as it is, so um, let's use what we have. First things first, we've got an exciting amount of crops to deal with today. I should probably first go ahead and uh, get the watering can filled and stuff. Oh no, I picked up the crab pot. I keep forgetting about like needing to have, I don't know, bait or something else in your hand that's going to stop you from picking it up. Kind of annoying. Oh, we're very low on bait. I should probably get more of that. <gasps> oh my god, the ancient fruit. I didn't even notice that. Our first ancient fruit. Do we need that for a bundle? No, we do not. Well, that's fine. I think we actually have a couple of bundles we can get done today. We did manage to accumulate a few items as we were doing things on the fishing week. So let's have a look what we got actually, because I can't remember. So we're now three out of five quality peppers, I think. Is the corn needed for quality crops? Yes, it is. Okay, going in there, a basic one for the full crops. And I think that's it. Maybe we should go ahead and start with a little bit of a drop off because we have a lot going on in here. And I really do need to make a crop chest at some point because this is kind of difficult. I guess I'm going to put the crops in the forage chest for now just so that they've got somewhere to be. I mean, I know there's still some crops in here, but I'll deal with that another time. I think whilst we do our drop off, I'm gonna leave my, well, most of my tools behind. I'll just keep my weapon and let's have a look what we can get in there. I'm obviously only looking for like items that I can fully donate. Oh, I've got an extra bat wing in here. Why? I think I'm actually gonna have to make a second trip. Right, what do I know won't be finished yet? Nothing. I'll just, I'll just make two trips. It's fine. <laughs> actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna buy the backpack upgrade today. <laughs> I think it's time. Check the board as I'm passing it. Pam would like a tuna. I'm going to accept it. Uh, do I have spare tuna? I can't remember what spare tuna. I might do. What I definitely do have though is a backpack upgrade. Right, let's see how many bundles we can complete. I know we've got the hops here. We can definitely complete the summer foraging bundle now. Give me them seeds. But then I've got a couple of summer crops in here. And um, we have any of the quality crops that we can finish? No, I don't know why I brought the corn with me. That was a mistake. Does go in the full crops though. We got our final lake fish and our first spinner. I can actually put something on the rod for the fishing week. An ocean fish. So we've got a tuna, tilapia, and our red snapper. Another bundle done. Again, the warp totems are actually going to be pretty useful. Maybe I need to start using those. Although I do need to like buy a path like from the warp point across. I don't know. We've got the quality fish and then we just need a walleye and a tiger trout or two walleye and a tiger trout and we've got the entire fish tank done. However, to get the fish tank done, I'm going to have to buy the entire room here. Uh, that's going to hurt. <laughs> it would be the fish tank, wouldn't it? Let's just go ahead and drop everything else off that we can. Nothing complete on the bulletin board, but we've made some good progress. And we can definitely complete one bundle in here because we've got the stuff for the adventurers bundle and that's going to give us a small magnet ring okay do i want to switch that for anything maybe i switch it for the small glow ring just so i've got some magnetism so after the next couple of gems i'm gonna have to buy this room out i don't know if i just get it done now looking at the luck today i probably should have mined instead of doing all of that but it's fine what i'm gonna do is have a look how much stone we've got because i really want to build that fish pond do i even have space for the fish pond I'll have a look. Let me see if I've at least got the materials. We have 140 stone. How much am I going to need for this? I could have sworn it needs stone. Am I being silly here? Fish pond? Where are you? Oh, it's there. 200 stone. Okay, we haven't got enough. I don't think I'm going to get 60 stone in time. Maybe I can though. I mean, we can try, right? I'm also going to bring the algae and seaweed that I need. And I think what I'll do for now is just buy like a couple of spots around here just to make sure we've got something ready for it. We can always move it later into a more permanent spot, but at least there's space here. Wait, why am I here? Oops. I mean, I could buy the stone from Robin. Let me see what I can do before she closes. I'm pretty sure she does shut at five today and not four. Hopefully. I'm going to be mad if it is four. But I have a little while. I'm literally just going to go to some of the earlier floors that I know I have. I'm kind of hoping for those like big stones. I need like six of them and then we've got everything in the bag. Oh, maybe these do reset. No, they don't because I definitely got a path down here before. I'll probably end up buying some stone, just not like close to as much as I technically need. Can I not be slimed? That would be great. There's a lot of loot here today though, so I'm going to grab that on my way out. Oh, I would find an infested floor today, wouldn't I? All right, let's do one more. Um, maybe I start at 15 instead. I know I've got here before. Right, I think 4pm is probably cutting it close. So let's just get out of here and see how much stone we need to buy. Well, it's 19, but I can't remember how much it costs. Is it like 20 gold or something? I mean, we're in year one, so it's not that bad. This is going to be where I find out she finishes at four today, isn't it? No, I'm pretty sure that's Friday. Oh, thank goodness. Hello, Robin. 
First of all, can I buy... Yeah, it's 20 gold. There we go, there's our 19 stones, so we've got 200 now. And then, let's get that fish pond. So we should be able to put it around here. Is there anywhere better though? I don't think I've unlocked like a good enough space anywhere else, so this is gonna do. We'll figure it out. Now I can focus the rest of the day on the mines. So, one of the things I do want to focus on just like at first at least is copper. And also I did get a suggestion about uh, when it comes to how we work the elevators, not being able to take the loot until we get there legitimately. I think like if I'm using all the elevators without having to think about it, that's going to become very hard to track. So what I might do instead is just say that I have to buy the tiles, like the entire room, before I could pick up the treasure chest. I feel like that's a good compromise. I still have to like earn the loot. Now floor 21 is definitely my chosen copper floor, so this is the one I'll be resetting. I should probably say that I pay back the rooms that I didn't have to buy all the tiles for. So like the floor 10 and 20 where I've already got the loot but I haven't paid for all the tiles, I should probably pay that back before I collect any more chests. But for today, I'm focusing on the copper grind. This is definitely going to be one of those floors that I do eventually buy all the tiles for anyway. Like our best chance will obviously be- oh, I'm stuck in a wall. Our best chance will obviously be- oh no wait, I am really stuck in a wall. What? Okay, um, how do I solve this? Maybe I need a warp totem. Or maybe I'm going to just have to pass out. I don't want to pass out. Oh man! Oh dear. Okay. How am I gonna deal with this? Oh dear. Okay. How am I gonna deal with this? Maybe I just have to teleport out of it? I don't want to teleport to the wrong spot. I also... Um... Let me see if I can go back to the mine's entrance. Okay. I freed myself. It's all good. <laughs> Took me a minute, but I had to um, figure out how to just walk back to the entrance of this floor. But I think something to be aware of if you're someone who kind of like tends to work a little bit too speedy sometimes. I tend to start like pressing my movement keys before the screen is like faded back in. And sometimes that means doing things like accidentally buying tiles or in this case I got stuck in a wall. So just something to be aware of. Let your game do its thing before you try to move. Like you can see here, these three tiles, these are because like in the time that the screen was fading in, I managed to move from here to here without buying any tiles in between but then appearing here and having to buy my way down to the ladder. <laughs> it could prevent you getting stuck if you just be a little bit patient. I'm gonna do one more little round here and then make sure I get home on time. Actually, you know what? I probably got time to do one more thing and I wanna go down to floor 81. I'm kinda hoping we might get lucky with like a fire quart. No wait, not a fire quartz. What do I still need? Oh no. In the boiler room, I still need a couple more gems. Uh, technically I can get these from other floors, right? Well, we're gonna do it anyway. Screw it. We'll do it once. Ah, see, there we go. I moved too early again. Oh, look, an emerald. Okay, it did pay off. Now, I think I confused myself with the fire quartz because I do usually, like, need it at this point, but this time I fished up several of them. I think I'm actually gonna make a cherry bomb. This is gonna be painful. Oh, we leveled up in mining as well. Okay, perfect. So no energy penalty tomorrow. Oh my god, there's an aquamarine. This day, I'm then getting stuck in the wall. I feel like it's going well. All right, let's get out of here before we die. <laughs> I think that was a pretty successful first day. We've got level three mining and oh, I didn't make any money because I literally didn't ship anything. But that's okay. There are other days for that. So what do I need to do today? I need to, first of all, we need to keep smelting this copper. Do a little daily things like refilling the crab pots and watering the crops. And I think today's a good day to maybe plant a little bit more in these spaces here. There's a lot of watering, but I think it'll be worth it. I also have to have a little bit of a sort through this chest because I've got kind of a silly amount of some of these crab pot fish that I'm just keeping for like nearly no reason. Let's just go ahead and get rid of them. Right, let's have a look what we had left to donate. So, summer crop, garden bundle, chef's bundle, garden bundle, garden bundle, garden bundle. I think that's an entire bundle done. And I think that's it. I'll also go ahead and see if there's anything we need to donate to the museum here. Why am I keeping a ghost crystal? That's going in the shipping bin. And then I guess let's just um get donating. I mean, I don't know how much money I'm going to need today. Oh, maple syrup. Hello there. Let's grab you. Take you straight to the chef's bundle. I love a little bonus donation. I can't remember what I was saying. Oh yeah, I didn't want to make any plans today of what specifically I wanted to do that was like potentially requiring money because obviously I'm going to complete the treasure hunters bundle here. Oh wait, hang on. Am I? Yes. Yes, I am. Okay. So I do need to buy that entire room. <laughs> I don't particularly want to spend money and then find out that I can't actually complete the room, but let's go donate all the other things first. Try not to accidentally buy any tiles on the way. Ah, it's every time I say it, I need to just stop saying it. <laughs> okay, so the only summer crop we're waiting for- wait, I've got a blueberry, why haven't I- okay, we're gonna have to go back and do that. Garden bundle can be done though, like so. Oh my god, a quality sprinkler that we can't place yet at least. I need to 
buy the space. What else have I got here? I think the rest is in the bulletin board. Oh, I need a blueberry for this too. Okay, good to know. So here's a couple of things for the chef's bundle, and then I guess we just get buying the tiles. Now, I don't know where I decide the room starts. I guess it would be where the floor changes, so like here. Let's maybe not use energy on the way though. I think I have more than enough gold to at least buy all the reachable tiles. There will be some like this one that I just can't get to. Okay, that is all the tiles. First room complete. Which one is it? That one and that one. Oh my god, we're gonna get minecarts tomorrow. <laughs> and we get a lucky lunch in return. There we go, first room. <laughs> I'm proud of that. That's not too bad. That could have been worse. I guess I'm thinking about it though in the fact that this is the fourth episode and not that we're in the second half of summer. But hey, we did it. That's all I care about. I'm gonna leave the vault bundle until I have the entire thing ready, I think. Now, I know I said I also wanted to go to the museum, but I did want to stop home first. I just thought it would make sense to come back and collect some copper and also grab the two blueberries we need here. Oh, wait, Jodie's cauliflower. We'll bring that too. No, I think Jodie's still going to be in the class for a little while, so I do have time. Actually, I was going to go donate to the community centre and then I realised that Clint's closes at four. I should probably prioritise that. Hello, Clint. Can you please take my pickaxe for upgrade? There we go. Now, I was debating doing either this or the axe first because there's quite a lot of hardwood on the farm. However, I thought it just made sense to do the pickaxe first just because, like, we get all quicker than we can do the other upgrades quicker. It makes sense in my head anyway. <gasps> New reward. What have we got? Is it the pumpkin seeds? Oh my god, two of them. Hello? We got... Oh, nothing even exciting. Well, <laughs> you're gonna go there and I can't really put this anywhere other than my house, so I guess I'll take it home. I was just debating whether I wanted to buy a path into the top part of Piers. I think what I am gonna do is buy one more tile this way just because I keep like getting annoyed about getting in the way of the NPCs. You can't even see the tile I bought. It, it's the one like basically next to where I'm standing but it's just like annoying <laughs> I'm pretty much just gonna wait for Jodie to leave because I'm pretty sure it's soon like very soon I don't want to miss my chance sneak attack with cauliflower here you go <laughs> that looks so delicious thank you this is just what I wanted it's gonna be perfect for my yellow curry I do like cauliflower curry thank you for the 350 gold as well so let's get those blueberries in here so there's one of them kind of worried about the sea urchin because I think they only show up on the other side of the bridge that we haven't even restored yet and then here is our summer crops bundle done. Oh my god, another quality sprinkler? I'll take that. <laughs> gonna be good for when we can actually use them. Mind you, that does mean that I'm not gonna need as much ore for that kind of stuff, so more of it can be focused on, well, literally anything else. I guess for now I'm just gonna move all the summer crops into this chest until we figure out storage. Maybe that's the next thing we focus on is getting a load of wood for that. There's our minecarts. We should get quite a lot more done in the mines now that we don't have to spend half the day traveling across the map on a very specific path and we did make quite a bit of money from some stuff i sold off from chests and things like that like there were a few things like i don't know this gold ore that i needed to cover for shipping just kind of nice to get them ticked off nice and early and we need the money all right wednesday oh first of all before we do anything i did want to put up this painting but i think that you can't place furniture even on the walls without buying them which obviously you can't buy wall tiles really so um i'm just gonna go ahead and throw this away however I can't even throw it away. That's so annoying. That is actually so annoying. What I was about to say is there is a setting that you can turn on to say that you can still place stuff on locked tiles. I don't really want to do that because I still want to unlock them for things like the coop and the barn and just other things around the farm. But the choice is there if you want it. Our staff route's ready so we can go ahead and donate that to the community center. I'm not worried about the fact that this is my first and only staff route so far because obviously later on we've got the desert to unlock. Kind of gutted that I didn't get a seed from that sunflower, but that's fine. It's covered for shipping. Oh, I forgot to put all this stuff away from the fish review. Um, why have I done that? Okay, I'll move that in a minute. I think those are some of the fish I wanted to keep for like recipes and such that I talked about, and I just forgot to put them away. Not going to replant in the spots that I just harvested from either because I'm feeling lazy about it. And it means that the forage that I've got planted here, if I plant more forage, is going to be one day off and that will just annoy me. Even more so than empty spots. Wait, I forgot I can actually water in- Oh, wait, I can fill it with a fish. So many realizations at once. Not only can I fill my watering can without walking a mile, but now we can have a fish pond. So what do I want to put in there? I need to check what I've got and what would be best. Maybe I do an octopus one just because they're so annoying. But then the super cucumber. Super cucumbers are worth more. Let's use that. There we go. New home. All right, let's use today to get some wood. Oh, wait, I also wanted to go and buy some chickens. So um, we'll also do that. We'll do that first, actually. Let's get the door open before I can forget to open the door. And then I need to buy a path all the way across here. Also to the counter. Hello, Marnie. I should be able to reach from here. Yes, I can. 
We've got a white chicken. Now I'm going to go with a naming theme that was suggested in one of the Rapidax streams. We went through several naming themes to like try and figure out what to name stuff on there. So on that save, we're naming all the animals after like UK supermarkets. And I think the barn animals are going to be like restaurants or fast food chains. But another popular suggestion was to name them after colors, but not just like simple colors. I need like names of colors that are like really specific. So for my new white chicken, I'm going to name it Parchment. All I've done is I've gone into Google and searched names of shades of white. <laughs> Welcome Parchment the chicken. And now I need to do the same for a brown chicken. There's a shade of brown called Russet. A deep warm brown shade similar to Saddle Brown, but darker. <laughs> I don't know much about colours, but like, it's a cool way to come up with names. I like it. All right, we can now get back on with wood chopping, but I'm thinking about maybe starting to make some headway on opening the area that we can put sprinklers on. Let's say hello to our new little chicks and also let's look inside the coop and see what the tile situation is in here. Okay, we don't have to buy the tiles. That's actually a relief. I guess technically we bought the tiles to be able to place the thing anyway, so I mean it makes sense in my head. Right, let's start on this area down here. I think this is where we can place sprinklers and like have them actually work. It's kind of an ideal place to start tidying up. But now I'll probably just prioritize an area where I can literally place like a scarecrow and two sprinklers because obviously we do still have things like this log in the way and thinking about it another thing i'm gonna need space for sooner rather than later is a silo i'm trying to think where to put it well i've bought space that would fit a couple of sprinklers so that's sorted now i just need to focus on trees again for a minute where am i gonna put this silo maybe i'll put it in front of this here i know they don't take up very much space don't know if i like that though hmm. maybe i put it in front of it i'm buying unnecessary tiles now at this pace I don't have time to go and actually like buy the thing from Robin, but at least I've made space for where it might want to go. Well, at the moment I've got enough wood for a few chests, so let's have a little think about our storage situation. Maybe I put it over here. Even if this too is temporary, I just don't like what we've got going on right now. <laughs> okay, so here's how I'm going to organize things. My donation chest will still be where it is. I'm putting anything crab pot related and trash related in this chest here. And like beach forage and stuff as well. Maybe my tackles too. My normal fish will go in this chest. I then want anything like seeds and fertilizer in this particular chest. I know the hay isn't really fertilizer, but to me it doesn't really fit in another category. I don't really want to call it a crop. This is going to be a crop specific chest. And I'm very aware that eventually we're going to need more chests again over time. But for now, this is going to work. Here's our forage chest. And then I think I'm going to leave the mine stuff together up here. My tools chest might stay where it is. This is going to be our fish review chest. And I think leaving that just near the shipping bin also makes sense. So like it's better. And maybe we move this this way one like so. I feel like it makes sense, at least in my head. Like it's different. I don't know if it's good different. We are very close on the sticky bundle now. I'll see if I can chop any more just like whilst I'm having me wood chopping day. Just kind of want to get as close as I can. I don't know if it's just me, but it always feels like I have too much sap until I actually have the sticky bundle and then there's never enough sap. I've literally chopped like several more trees and I've only got like 40 something. I mean, it's still technically possible to do tonight. I don't think it's worth it though, given the energy loss, so let's go to bed. I completely forgot how much just one jar of melon jelly sells for. Very much worth it. Eventually I do want more reserves jars, but they're just like, it's the wood, I'm running out on wood all the time somehow. It's bad enough on a normal playthrough, it just feels worse this time for some reason. I completely forgot that clam is like a shipping thing, let's chuck that in there. Keeping the lobster for later, I think that's actually my first. Okay, quite a big harvest today, let's do this. I was kind of hoping for more gold hot peppers, still not having very much luck with those, I've just got to keep trying, hope for the best. I think I am just going to end up selling the majority of these blueberries. Let me see how many I've already got. I mean, I've already got 23. I'll keep the gold, we'll make it 30, and we'll sell the rest. I don't need all of these. Same with the peppers. Maybe these coffee beans as well. And I can't be bothered to go back to the chest so the hops are going into. I am noticing we've got a speed grow spot here, so I probably should get something in there. Completely even forgot I had it. We'll just put in another summer seed for now, just to hold it. Kind of glad I realised that before it decayed. <laughs> Towards the end of the season, we'll slap a wheat in there, just to hold it over the season. Alright, let's see what I need for this silo. Am I going to need 10 clay? I'm not clay farming for it. I guess that's just going to happen when it happens at this point. <laughs> Maybe what I do is I go and chuck my axe straight in for upgrade today as I'm collecting my pickaxe. I think that'll make sense. Oh, and also we have the shiny new minecarts to test out. I didn't use them at all yesterday, although I only left the farm for chicken. So obviously got to buy the path from here. I probably should have brought the geodes whilst I was at it as well, but that's fine. Hello, hello. Give me my pickaxe. You shall not rest. Uh, my axe. 
It's not great luck day today, but maybe we do just do the mines anyway. Completely forgot I also have to buy a path here as well. There we go. And you know what? How much do we have for the Adventurer's Guild? Okay, never mind. It's only 100 gold. With some of our money today, I think what I'm going to do is buy the tiles in here for the treasure like I said I would. So floor 20 is now done. Did I say 20? I mean 10. We're going to do 20 next. This one is a little bit bigger though. Plus I'm going to need some of these tiles anyway to be able to fish the fish out of the water here. I mean, to be fair, whilst we are spending a lot of money, I feel like it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. At least the only one I know I don't have to do for now, at least not till later, is going to be level 30 because there's definitely no loot on there. All right, there's those two floors bought. Let's go and grab some copper. I feel like I should probably pick up the stone whilst I'm here as well. Loads of these big rocks in here today. Kind of also a good thing that we're doing these floors because I do need some bug meat for more bait. The only problem is these grubs can escape a little easier with the tiles. So um, maybe that's another reason I should prioritize unlocking more of this floor. Cluster right by the ladder. Love to see it. I feel like as copper farming days go, this definitely could be going better, but it could also be going a lot worse. I think it's because like you kind of forget a lot of the early game stuff as you move into later game. So like obviously at the moment I'm only level 3 mining which means I'm not getting anywhere near as much copper ore as I usually would be. That is if you choose the... is it the minor profession? I think it's the minor profession. Whichever one it is that gives you an extra ore per node. I'm very much feeling the effects of not having that anymore. Alright I'm gonna go and lay the crates on this floor. Then I think I'm gonna head home because I also just realised I'm kind of burning through all my food on a day that it's not even a very good luck day. I don't see the point in doing that. So maybe let's not. So all my bug meat is going straight into bait, no doubt about that. And it's kind of nice to come home with an actual quantity of copper to smelt. I feel like we're going to get through all the tall upgrades in no time. Alright, how much did we make today? I think we did sell some crops this morning, didn't we? So we got over four grand. Nice. nice. Like the blueberries are fine, they're just, you know, they're not melons. I'm kind of sad about the complete lack of rain this week so far. Could have done without having to water every single day. But what can we do? Ooh, wait. What do I need to build the recycling machine? Wood, stone, and iron. I think I can do that now. I think it's time that we actually start recycling some stuff. So I can make... I can make four of them. I think I'm going to start with two, just until I get more iron. Uh, where am I going to put them? I guess if I keep them close to where my crab pot chests are, I'll put them here for now. We'll find a better place another time. And I'm going to prioritize the cloth because they can give us... I think I said that backwards. I want to prioritize the newspaper because they can give us cloth. Didn't get any this time, but that's fine. I mean, the place could use some torches anyway. Ooh, we have loads of corn today. Oh, and I leveled up in farming. Nice, level seven. Closing on on that keg pretty quickly, actually. But now I think I'm just going to sell this batch. We're going to be getting them through fall anyway, so I don't need a ridiculous amount of the stuff. Now the watering. I'm going to finally buy this tile because it's kind of been annoying me that I haven't got it. <laughs> All sorted. Right, I will meet you after my morning chores. I think whilst I'm at it, I've got some torches. I think I'm going to try and place them like, well, I just want to place them behind the house, but it doesn't want to let me. I like trying to like hide torches places. Come on, why don't you give me cloth, please? Doesn't seem to be working out though. Maybe here. There we go. There's one. It does seem to be that the torches can be placed on unbought tiles. So that's interesting. I mean, hey, I'll take it. Just wanted to add a little bit of lighting around the place here and there. Some places I will be a bit more intentional, like in front of the cave here. No point putting one inside though. I mean, there is. M maybe, but I just, I don't want to. Now, why don't we work our way down to the merchant today? I don't think I've pet the chickens in a couple of days either. Where are they? I can't even reach them. I need to buy my affection with my chicks. Um, They'll have to come to the path. <gasps> We've actually got some forage today as well. That's a nice little bonus. And what do you have today for me, merchant? Buy full seeds. Um, These are really expensive, but it's kind of tempting. I don't know. No, I think by the time we get to... Oh, we're gonna have enough tiles like bought that hopefully we don't have to worry about forage spawning. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. Oh my god, hello Russet, hanging out by the water. We have a nice little beach chicken. No idea where parchment is. Oh, I forgot about buying a little path up this way. Well, we've done it now. I do still need to ship the spice berry as well, so I'll go ahead and do that since we do have hopefully more growing on the farm. Oh my god, we're finally gonna get a piece of cloth. Well, I'm not just going to stay here all day and hang out by the recycling machine. So why don't we go and give Demetrius a birthday gift? Kind of depends on where he's hanging out at the moment. I think he's at home. Yes, he is. Uh, Do I want to buy the path over here? I do think he moves at some point. Let me see if he moves at four because a lot of people move like on the hour. Yep, yep. Just as predicted. Okay, where are you going though? If you go into the kitchen, maybe I should at least... Oh, thank goodness you're coming outside. I bought one tile for nothing. Anyway, happy birthday. I did remember your birthday. 
It cost me exactly a tile, so um, enjoy the strawberry. And I think today I do also want to start making things easier for myself. So doing things like buying tiles like through town. So we've got one route at least, like to get around the map. Maybe I even make some of those grassy tiles for forage to spawn. It just makes sense to me anyway. If I join this one up here and then let's have a little path down from Pierre's as well. Who was on the board today whilst I'm here? Oh my god, Clint looking for copper. I'm going to accept it. Maybe we handle that tomorrow. I could do without Robin noticing me going through this trash. Damn it, Lewis found me. I got cookies out of it though, so it was worth it, in my opinion. Now, I don't think I can lose points from Lewis twice. Like, I could be wrong. I don't think I have many from him anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Trash is more valuable to me at the moment. I also still haven't met everyone. I think I'm still missing Evelyn and George. Evelyn, George, Penny, Vincent, Sam, and Maru. Whoops, okay, good to know. I don't think I'm gonna meet any of them this week. Uh, maybe on Sunday. Okay, let's also buy over to the beach bridge. Then at least at that point I've got the option of restoring it. I do really need a sea urchin sooner rather than later. And there is one over there. Shame I haven't already got the wood. <gasps> Penny, hello! I almost just opened the trash right in front of you. My mother used to drive the bus to Calico Desert, but the bus stopped working a few years ago. A few years ago? Didn't it like break as I arrived or something? Like isn't that in the intro cutscene? I feel like it's the first time in a while I've gone ahead and checked every single trash can, but we've got it now. And then the last sort of like convenient path I want to unlock is here to home and then join it up to Marnie's from there. There we go. Now I should be able to get like a good loop around the map at this point. All right, there's our first piece of cloth. We don't need it for the community center, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and chuck it straight in the shipping bin. It's worth a decent amount of gold and we need it for shipping anyway. Ah, and we got some jelly. I think I'm going to start keeping whatever I'm processing for jelly in my main chest just to make things a bit easier for now. Then as soon as we run out, I can pick out a new crop. I completely forgot about the fact that I need to make some lightning rods. So let me see if I can do that real quick. I don't think I've got the foraging level. Is it the foraging level? No, I can't even make them. Okay, never mind. Scrap that plan. I guess this is even more incentive to chop trees. Usually I have a much higher foraging level by now because I like just like going out and foraging, but I can't really do that. <laughs> got the loom recipe. We don't have any sheep. Probably never going to get any. Oh no, I forgot that rabbits can drop wool too, can't they? Anyway, 1800 gold. There's a fair amount of our tiles replenished. Ooh, Emily's here. Hey, Emma, good morning. You seem to be doing well. The farm looks great. Does it? <laughs> I mean, thank you, but does it? Does it really? So you've been here a while and I'm sure you've acquired some cloth by now, right? I have, but how did you know? Or did you know that you can use cloth to tailor all kinds of clothes? All you need is access to a sewing machine. And I happen to have one at home. Feel free to swing by and use it anytime. Well, here's the thing. That's very pricey. <laughs> Who gets the money for the tiles as well? I've never really thought of that. Ooh, we also have some mail. What's going on here? Ah, the fried mushroom recipe. And Demetrius also would like a melon. Well, lucky for you, I've got plenty to spare. Oh, wait, so I haven't shipped a tomato yet. Let's change that. And I very much can't wait to get my axe back because this tree is kind of a problem. <laughs> Let's handle all our morning stuff first, though. Good morning. Then can I please have my pickaxe? I mean my axe. Oh, I should have brought some... I was about to say I should have brought some copper over for the watering can, but I forgot that I need to wait for a rainy day for that anyway, so I'm kind of glad I didn't make that mistake. Willie's also asking us to catch four red mullet. I think the last day for that is Monday, so I'm going to accept it because I might do it in the fishing week. Ooh, and I just thought about the fact that, well, first of all, how much copper do I have? Nine bars. Okay, I'm making a couple more tappers as long as I have the wood because I need to get some of each type of resin. Plus, I need to start that supply for kegs anyway. Maybe it is time to build a tree farm. I don't know where I want to put it though. Like, I need enough space for it. Well, at least for now, I've got my oak tree out here. And I think the pine tower for now I'm also going to stick up by the backwards with those pine trees there. I definitely have one that is close to a path, so we should be good. I almost missed out on this little worm spot here, let's grab that. Ooh, it's something new as well, that's perfect. I do have a couple of other things to donate, but I don't know if I want to do it today. I don't think I have enough stuff to like bother with. I probably should have taken my geodes with me to Clint's and gave them in before he started upgrading my tool, but it's a bit late for that now. Wait, he's not upgrading any tool, is he? I could still do that. Like, I feel like the museum rewards are kind of like extra important now. I am going to save the Omni Geodes for the desert though. I don't really want to spend those. Giving you plenty of business, Clint. Can you open my Geodes for me? Just need a load of really good stuff for the museum. This does mean I probably should be working on other floors in the mines as well, just to get other types of Geodes. But for now, I think we have plenty to donate anyway. Oh, and I forgot I can get clay for them too. We actually really need that. I can't really even clay farm. I mean, like, literally I can't clay farm on a normal playthrough anyway. I'm just terrible at it. But in this one, it's kind of a lot more expensive when you have to buy all the tiles to make the pattern work. And knowing me, I probably buy all the wrong tiles anyway. <laughs> okay, hello. 
we got two new rewards. Okay, the bear's cute. I'll take the bear, but I think I'm just going to chuck the painting away because I don't think I'm ever going to be able to place them. I keep forgetting that I can't do that. <laughs> I was like, is my game like crashed? I can't do anything. What am I going to do with it? Uh, I'm going to have to like hide a chest somewhere that's just for like junk I don't want. Oh my god, there's Evelyn. Wait, I could probably... Nope, the, the tile path is kind of expensive. Hmm. Okay, maybe I can catch her on her way into her house later. What was I doing again? Oh, I was going to give Demetrius a melon. Hold the melon and then I can't forget what I was doing. So I think he's hanging out over here. Yes, he is. Should I just buy my way over there? I guess so. More spots for forage, I guess, at the end of the day. This is for you. No, don't eat it. Please don't eat that. This is perfect. It's just what I needed for my research. It's going to be hard not to eat it. Thanks a bunch. I mean, you're telling me. I almost ate it right in front of you. Or, well, it was kind of behind your back, but still. Oh, and I get as much as a jar of jelly. That's kind of nice. Okay, if I go from here, it's not going to cost me too much to go meet Evelyn. So let's go and do that. Maybe I can make this multi-purpose into my path to the saloon, even though it's kind of like a roundabout way of going. At least then it's got more than one reason that I've done this. And George is just going to have to wait, I think. I was for a minute checking the map to find out where people were, but I forgot that they don't even show up on the map until you actually meet them. So that's not going to help me. And we have plenty of extras to sell off, so that's nice. Well, plenty. I think There was two, but it's still more than none. And I think I'm going to put my bear here, guarding my furnaces for me. Now, one of these refined quartz is going straight in the shipping bin, and the rest I'm going to chuck in here. The other one. So for today, back to tree chopping. Let's see if we can get the rest of the sap we need. I think I only need, like, 39 at this point, so we're very much close to having this done. Now, there is one thing I want to do tomorrow, so I don't just want to leave one particular thing down to chance or technically two particular things we've got the fodder bundle that needs three apples and we've got the enchanters bundle which needs a pomegranate obviously i don't have the fruit cave and i don't have either saplings so tomorrow i really have to go buy both of those saplings kind of glad i got some money left over for that that would be a disaster if i didn't okay it's official we have enough sap at least i think we do <laughs> 503 so actually more than enough Whoop, sticky bundle here you go 500 sap what is the reward? A charcoal kiln. Wonderful. I was kind of hoping it would be some tappers. I don't know why I thought it was some tappers. There is a bundle with that reward, isn't there? I don't know if I'm just like imagining it. I'm sure I've got tappers before. Oh, hello. Listen, I'm not going to sit here and read out every single dialogue line for this particular cutscene. Actually, I mean, I'm not. I'm still not going to do that. However, we have George here. I haven't actually met George. I wonder if it will now think I have. Like, will this count? And the reason I say that is because, like, let's be honest, we've all seen these cutscenes like a million times. Or at least most of us have, right? Given that it's a challenge run, I'm not going to sit here and, like, force myself through every single bit of dialogue. The only one I might do that with is, like, whoever we decide to marry for this playthrough. I don't know who that should be, though. Again, I'm going to pick someone I haven't picked before. First of all, let's tell Linus that there's, uh, no issue with what he's doing. Don't let the food go to waste. Not like I don't do it. <laughs> I mean, in-game, that is. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe Haley because beach farm and she likes like coconuts and that kind of thing. So maybe Haley for this playthrough? What do you think? Oh, have I met Sebastian yet? I think I have. Oh, so let's have a look. George, have we now met George? We have, okay. That was another way to get that off the list. So we now just have Sam, Vincent and Maru. We'll get there. I'm not going to go out of my way because I think the reward is like 100 gold. You know, like after you give them a gift. So I don't really want to spend more than that trying to meet them all. And maybe I will one day, I don't know. Okay, let's get some sleep. I really need those saplings. And hey, I mean, at least this is like, this is probably funded one of them, right? I can't even remember how much they are. I don't really often buy them, to be honest. Okay, Queen of Souls, what have you got for me? You have got the Mackie Roll recipe. Oh, I would love some sushi right now. It's also a really good luck day. I should probably mine. But uh, first, let me handle the morning chores and I will meet you probably at the traveling car, actually. Oh, I think we finally got enough hot peppers. Yes, we do. Well, gold quality ones, I mean. I'll do that another time, though. We're not completing the bundle today. Just got to get my mushrooms. Oh my god, a purple one. And then we can head down to the merchant. Now, I can't remember if I need this for any other bundle. I do need it for the field research. I don't know which one I'm going to give it to first. I'll put it in the chest and we'll think about it. I think I can actually reach the chickens today. I think they've also grown up. Oh my god, have they? Are they going to be... Oh my god, there are eggs. They've been grown up for a couple of days. More ways to boost our income. I've gone the wrong way again. I feel like I do this at least once a week. <laughs> All right, what have you got for me? We have an early eggplant. I think I'm just going to wait. That's kind of around the corner now. Maybe I do the one more rare seed. Yeah, I'm going to get one more. We're going to need one for shipping and one for the star drop. So at least I'm going to have them both on hand now. 
I do feel like, and like, this is definitely a lot further down the line, that the Return Scepter might actually be worth it for this playthrough. I mean, it usually is worth it, but like extra worth it just because like the amount of time it takes to navigate through all the paths. Although maybe by that point I've bought enough tiles for it not to matter anyway. I don't know. I guess we'll just have to see when we have access to it, what everything is looking like at that point. I just, I think I just felt the impatience of really wanting it in that moment. <laughs> now I do want to get down our mayo machines, we do need those. I think this is everything I need. Oh, stone, of course. It's always the stone. Again, I'm just doing one for now. Gone ahead and shipped one of each egg as well, just to get that done for shipping. And I guess this is going to go with my processing stuff, which in that case, since I have a little bit of wood, let's go and buy, I mean, craft another chest. It kind of makes sense to put all the stuff over there that I'm going to be putting in a machine. There we go. Now it's all in one place. I also need to remember to turn on the options that hides the merchant when visited. Now it's not going to show up this time because I've already visited and I'd need to go back for it to like disappear again. But that will kind of stop me getting confused as to whether I've actually gone or not. So uh, yeah, thank you for the person who left me the comment reminding me that that's a thing. Now what was I going to do today? I think I was going to go to the mines. We're going to need more iron. We can get moving on those upgrades. Oh no wait, no I wasn't. No I w wait, pick up the sweet pea. Okay. No, I wasn't. I was going to go to Pierre's and buy some saplings. Good grief. Imagine if I forgot. That was very, very close. This is a lesson to just put the thing on a list before you can forget about it. That is if you remember to look at the list, but still. Hi, Pierre. I need some things from you. So, oh, good grief. They are way more expensive than I thought. And buy them anyway. We are going to need them. Question is, where are we going to put them? I need to pick a spot that I can just keep them in forever. I'm thinking I put them up here because I don't really use this area very much. That's if I can. I don't know if I can. Let's see. So if I put you here. Damn it. Okay. Scrap that. Can they grow on the sand? Because if they can, I'm thinking over here. I'm hoping the actual tiles don't interfere with them. I'm not going to take any chances because we are close to the end of the season. So it's already going to be cutting it close in terms of like harvesting the trees in time. <laughs> so what if I put one here and one here? Too close to another tree. What about here? That'll do. All right. Now we can go to the mines. Now, oh, I just completed the quest for going to level 40. I'm not going to buy my way to the loot today. I want to be able to start mining for iron, so that'll be my priority for money. That is if I can find a single iron node, though. There we go. I just done a few resets and found literally none. Painful when that happens. Especially on a good luck day. It feels like it's just, like, literally not true. What do you mean there's luck? Actually, should I handle Clint's copper request as well? I probably should, right? It's free money, essentially. Chances are I can knock this one out pretty quick anyway. I think he only wants 20 this time. Oh, it's 25. Should I also go to the bottom just to like get that journal quest done? Let's do it. There we go. Not picking up the key yet. It doesn't really matter until I unlock the vault anyway. Now I know that copper can technically spawn on the iron floors as well, but like I feel like it doesn't happen that often. So I don't want to leave that down to chance when I get a floor like this and there's loads of copper everywhere. I only need seven more and then I can get back to going for iron anyway. And this should be our last one. Yes, it is. Okay, so we got our 25. We do have to actually like hand the quest in at some point. Maybe today I can go to the saloon and do that. I'll just have to remember not to pass out. Maybe I should jump on meeting him on his way to the saloon. That's probably smarter. I'm just going to wait outside his door. He should come out any second. Any second now. There he is. Clint, I've got your copper. I like to inspect local laws from time to time to keep track of quality and abundance. I can keep them, they're of decent quality. And thank you for the payment too. That probably makes up for some accidental tile purchases I've been making today. <laughs> Especially in this room here where I move earlier than I should be. As I was saying before, I kind of forgot that already. Starting to think we should work on buying another loot floor maybe sooner rather than later. The reason I say that is I kind of have a terrible weapon for these floors. I know I missed some nodes there, I just didn't want to buy my way over when I can focus all of my money on one floor. Very tempted to buy my way to all the uh, loot crates around the edge. I mean, it probably is worth it. I did get some extra frozen tears and coal for that, so it was worth it. Oh my goodness, look at all that copper. <laughs> Just as I was saying how, like, unlikely it is, we find a huge cluster on the iron level, so I guess I could have stayed here the whole time. Although saying that, I wouldn't have found it till now, which means I wouldn't have handed the quest in today, so I'm happy I did things the way I did. Alright, I think that's a good enough amount to go home, so um, let's run before we lose our energy. Especially because we're just about to have fishing week and I need lots and lots of it. Not even gonna put anything away, I don't think, because I think that's gonna lose enough time. Uh, will it? No, we can put stuff away. What am I on about? It's fine, we can make it to bed. 
Time for sleep. So, um, oh, we got the glowstone ring. Maybe I should make that soon. A little bit of extra light. Got a few hundred gold from our props. I think it was mostly just like little things. Yeah, there we go. And um, yeah, I guess on with the fishing week. Right, let's do this. I was really feeling the lack of rain this week and also the lack of sprinklers as well, like it's gone 11 before I can even start fishing on most days. It gives me quite a bit of a disadvantage but I still did my best. As usual any fish and stuff I'll save for the end for the fish review but anything like crops and whatever I will sell as we go. And looking at this I guess I must have had a blueberry harvest today. All of that forage grew in on the Tuesday and it got me another foraging level. And judging by this lonely blueberry plant, I must have forgotten to water it one day. I debated leaving it until the rest are done. Like, if you know me by now, I like my crops all done at the same time. But then I realised I'd get another harvest out of it if I harvested today, so I just went for it. I ended up starting fishing extra late this day because I needed to get some wheat seeds to replant everything with. That way the spots are held till s- Oh, not summer. I almost said summer. <laughs> Before going home to plant those, I stopped in at Willy's shop because I wanted to buy a couple of dress spinners. I was kind of hoping that the extra bite rate would mean more fish, meaning more profit. They are pretty expensive though, so I only got a couple. Oh, and I did need a load more bait too. By the time I got the wheat planted and watered, it was the afternoon, so I thought maybe it's best if I try going down to the forest and fish for the Dorado, because I actually remembered to transfer my mod file over this time, so we do have the path. It took a good few in-game hours to show up, but I did manage to catch it and then I got right out of there because for some reason I just really don't like fishing in the forest river, I don't know what it is. But don't worry, I did continue fishing when I got back to the farm. I picked out this lovely spot on the pier on Wednesday, and I know I can catch these fish on the farm too, but it just made it a lot easier to give Willie a birthday gift. We had the last melons to harvest on Thursday. Those all got replaced with wheat, but I did not have enough seeds. It's only a few tiles, it doesn't really matter. I kept a lot of basic quality melons for processing, but the ones I did sell I did get a good few grand from. Friday saw the last big blueberry harvest and look at that, it's finally raining. No watering for me. I don't know what it is about these Friday travelling carts, but this one's a good one again. I debated for a minute if I should buy the Nautilus shell, but then I ended up getting it because I wasn't sure if I was going to have the towels unlocked in winter for it to spawn or like, you know, be able to afford to like walk on over and get it. And the mead will be good for the brewer's bundle. Now if we had some different bundles going on, the large milk would have been good for that too, but for us we don't need it this time. Got another 5 grand on the balance as well that night. I just don't want to deal with the blueberry so I sold them all. <laughs> Plus I really needed all that money because I was running out of bait again. We had another reason to thank the rain on this day as well because even though it's Saturday, Willie takes shelter in his shop for the day if it's raining. Calls himself a fisherman yet he's afraid of a bit of water. What a novice. Anyway, I might as well stay on the pier today and fish from here. There's no point wasting the time on the journey home. Plus then Willie can see me, a real fisherwoman, braving the rain in the name of fish. Very glad I stayed here too because I got my first pair of boots. Now I just have to imagine for myself that these chests are super waterproof. Like I can't possibly imagine fishing up a soggy pair of boots and putting them straight on. Ugh, no, just no. I also had a few little crops shipped off today. We got level 8 farming, we could make the kegs now, except we're gonna have to do quite a bit of mining to be able to make them. And now we're into the last day of summer. How are we halfway through the year already? I can't remember when or why I replanted these forage seeds, but they're not gonna be done in time now. At least I realised before I wasted my time watering them I guess. I'm not even gonna show you the travelling cart today because it's just not worth it. So this ended up being a very ordinary but very full fishing day and I didn't forget about the Dance of the Moonlight jellies, I just didn't want to go. I didn't really see the point on spending all that gold on unlocking the towels for a festival that you can't really get anything out of. That pretty much just leaves us with the fish review for the week. This week and going onward, I am going to start including the crab pot stuff again. I had to make a whole second chest just to house all the different types of fish, trash and loot and stuff. So um, yeah, you're going to see that too from now on. Plus like, we did technically catch them and some of them did actually come from our fishing rod. So it makes sense, to me anyway. But look at all that treasure. Loads of museum pieces as well. But excluding the crab pot stuff, we got a total of 223 fish. We blasted the old record out of the water, even with the spending time on crops and stuff. And if we include the 26 crab pot fish, that brings us to a total of 249 for the week. Once again, I did save several fish for recipes and quests and stuff. All that's left now is to look at how much money we made. That is a lot of gold. Thank you all for the feedback on how we approach the mines. I very much appreciate all the comments. We will go ahead and use the elevators that have been unlocked, but when it comes to the loot chests, I'll make sure to unlock every tile before collecting the chest. 
Now thinking about the future weeks, go ahead and comment a random question down below. Something I might be able to chat about during our fishing weeks, I think it might be fun. It can be almost anything, doesn't necessarily have to be Stardew related. But anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please do hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, thank you so much to my channel members, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!